Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Winter Garden's Sacred Space Meditation Service. It is good to be with you all this day. This is a harder piece of turning my head more. So we'll have to figure this out on the new side of the fountain. I pray that this time for all of us is a time that we can listen and listen for God and through scripture and through the sacrament this day. For those of you who are here, make sure that if you would like to take the Lord's Supper, you have the communion set. And for those of you at home, please make sure to have bread and juice or something that can work for your communion time today. Followed from the scripture reading, which is from Psalm 91. We will go into a time of silent meditation for about 13 minutes or so. And so I pray that God uses that time today in the way that you need it. And God prays that you listen as well. And so let us open our hearts and minds in this time and listen to God's word from Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2 and 9 through 16. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High and pass the night in the shadow of Shaddai, say Yahweh, my refuge and my mountain fortress, my God in whom I trust. Because you have made me your refuge and have me as your stronghold, no evil will befall you and no disaster will come near your tent. For I will command my angels to guard you wherever you go. They'll carry you in their hands so you don't hurt your foot on a stone. You'll tread on 
the young lion as easily as one does a cobra. You'll trample down both lion and serpent. Because you love me, I will deliver you. I will rescue you because you acknowledge my name. You will call upon me and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. I will satisfy you with a long life and show you my salvation. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us go into a time of meditation on God's word this morning.
I think I could have sat there for another, I don't know, 45 minutes. So from the Apostle Paul and 1 Corinthians, these words are shared. What I have passed on to you, I received from Christ. That on the night he was betrayed, our Savior Jesus took bread, gave thanks and broke it saying, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim Jesus' death until Christ comes. Friends, this is the body of Christ, which is broken for you. Faith. And this is the cup of the new covenant for the forgiveness of sins. Faith and drink.
Let us pray. God, for these gifts, we give you thanks. For you are also the God of the wilderness and your spirit leads us to face the truth and unprotected and exposed. In our times of trial, help us to resist the worship of empty power and the illusion of invulnerability that we might find our true food in Jesus Christ, the broken bread. Amen.
the last two verses from Psalm 91. You will call upon me and I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. I will satisfy you with a long life and show you my salvation. Friends, go out in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the creator, redeemer, and sustainer of us all. Know that God is with you through it all, each and every moment. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.